You know, I'm walking away. I'm on the scene, but I'm walking away from the crowd. But okay. Yes, I can hear you now. First, just describe the scene to us. What are you seeing? The people there? It's unbelievable. There's uh, police officers from every community uh, within this region. I was escorted in by Bloomfield police officers, East Hartford police officers on the scene. I just met with uh, the owner, Ross Hollander, and we gave each other a big hug, and he's the, uh, uh, the owner of this uh, Hartford Distributors. Uh, the union is on site. Uh, Principal Officer Chris Ruse, who represents the employees from five, and Congressman John Lawson is here, and uh, he's a dear friend of the Hollanders and myself. Uh, and we we're just all taken back. I drove for that company for 30 years myself, and I represented them for 25 years as an officer with the Teamsters. And this is family, and we're just gathering, and we're hot sick over this. John, do you know anything about the shooter, Omar Thomas? Well, only, uh, Logan, that he was uh, a new hire, uh, the bottom driver, and uh, disciplinary problem, and the union was bringing him in to meet with the company to resolve the problem, and uh, apparently at that point he uh, he started shooting, and uh, and the rest is, is, is breaking news as, as we move along. So, so he was I an employee when he went in and started shooting. He was, he was still an employee there. Yeah, oh yes, he is a definite hired full-time employee, he's a driver. When he and, in, uh, have you learned which, because we're hearing that he shot one of the owners when he initially went in there. Do you know which owner? Uh, the owner, the primary owner was not on the scene at the time, uh, Russ Allen, he was in transit. But, but I, I went to Do you know who he shot, and, uh, the names of the people he shot? Oh, we don't have any names yet. Do you know? Oh, am I alive, by the way? Go ahead. I just want to say goodbye to Congressman John Lawson. One second. One second. All right, John. John, are you back with us? John? Father, guys. I'll John? I'm sorry about that, Logan. Yeah, that's okay, John. We, we are hearing that one of the victims might be Stephen Hollander. Can you confirm that or deny it or give us any information? Well, we, we, we don't have any confirmation of that, but I did hear the same second information that you may have heard that uh, Stephen had been shot. But we how don't is, know his condition or whatever. How uh, is he in relation to Brett Hollander, who's the director of, of marketing? Is he a, a, they're, uh, they're cousins. And, cousins. Uh, Stephen is the son of Bob Hollander, who passed away a couple of years ago, which is Ross Hollander's brother. So, Ross is the primary owner of the company. Stephen is pretty much the day-to-day manager of the company. And Brett Hollander uh, has other roles. As I said, a wonderful, wonderful family to work for. We've been employees been there for 40 years. I've been there 31 when I left, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful company to work with and for. With the union and myself personally are hot sick over this. So, John, was Stephen shot? Uh, we heard second information uh, from uh, an individual that he was, but uh, I've never had any confirmation. Even I'll be honest, I've been walking up to this site and didn't have an opportunity to get all of, you know, the details from the people that were on the scene. So, Do you know a you number on fatalities? Because we're, uh, we're hearing seven, we're hearing three, we're he- hearing well, different numbers. What I, heard, what I heard, seven was shot, and I did also hear three fatalities, but I don't know if they're including the shooter in that, because the shooter had what they call a cop suicide. He wouldn't put his gun down, so the state police shot him. So the uh, police fuck. killed him. He did not kill himself? No, it was a, what they call a cop suicide. That's their term, not mine. Uh, the police shot him when he wouldn't put down the firearm. And it right, looked like that, in their well, opinion that they, he wanted to be shot. Yeah, John, first we had reported that police officers shot him, then we reported that he, he shot, shot himself. himself. It sounds like it's very confusing at this point. Can you tell me what kind of disciplinary problem in particular this Omar Thomas was having, and was he brought in today for the purposes of this hearing, and did that hearing take place? Well, I'll be honest, I can't give you all the details on that, but he definitely was coming in for a disciplinary hearing uh, in uh, that's the same procedure. The union steward uh, will escort him to the company, 
and a representative from the company, or maybe two, will sit down and just try to resolve the issue at hand. And that's my understanding that around at that point, sometime at that point, he opened fire. But uh, as he said, as you said, Morgan, so very adequately, these, these things can change uh, as more information uh, surfaces. But that's what we have right now. And uh, as he said, he was going in for a hearing with the company. And it's a very standard procedure. Whatever happens with a union member, if there's a disciplinary situation, the union will escort him in and try to work it out with the company. You said he was a new hire. When was he hired? How new is he? I'm not sure on that, but when we get new hire at that company, excuse me, when we talk new hire, it's usually within a year. He's the bottom guy, just like 65 drivers, and he was the very last driver. So he would, uh, okay, John, he would be the last guy to leave. 